all sorts of complex designs. These first appeared um, in the 19, late 60s, I think early 70s in the south of England. And uh, they were a pretty simple design and then they got uh, more and more complex. And some of the hyperbole that's followed these, and you've heard some of this stuff, they are so precise and so exact, they could not have been man-made. The stalks have been bent in such a fashion. They've not been broken. We don't know any technology that can do that. There's leftover radiation. The cellular structure of the corn stalks or the wheat stalks or whatever it is have been changed. We've heard stories like that. But in the 1980s, two elderly gentlemen by the name of Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley stepped forward and claimed responsibility for all the crop circles that appeared you know, in, the, in that early period. Now, they multiplied all over the world. So the first thing you need to realize even though there are experts called seriologists, okay, serious field studies in this, that say they're created by aliens. Um, just average Joe Blows, like you or me, gathered that it could be made and they started replicating it all around the world. And Doug and Dave, um, when they came out and took credit for them, uh, they were debunked. Here's how they make them. You can go to this website, circlemakers.org, and that's how they make them. Look at this, folks, a plank and two bits of rope. That is the most common and effective method used by people all over the world in making crop circles. However, there is a sinister side to it. And the circle makers, and again, look for yourself, um, you go to their website, their name originally was Team Satan. And you would wonder why somebody would call themselves Team Satan. I mean, they're in this for business now. Obviously, it was politically incorrect and they changed it. But why would a group of people call themselves Team Satan? Well, when you investigate that website, you'll see that they say when they build these crop circles, they have all sorts of paranormal experiences. People have had healings. There's been um, radio interruptions. Lights have appeared in the sky. And so they don't believe that it's UFOs. They just think it is some sort of psychic or paranormal experience.